Here's something new. I'm in App Lab on code.org and I'm showing you a random image and a random cat name, but I'm not doing this from anything I created. I'm doing it from one of the built-in data sets, which is something I've never used before. So let's jump right in. Starting in design mode, we've got one button with the ID cat button. We've got one label with the ID cat label, and we have one image with the ID cat image. That's it. Now here's where things get cool. Under data, we now have all these built-in lists, these data tables. So for example, there's Spotify top 200 songs in the USA. We can take a preview of those. And you have all this data to work from. Very cool. Uh, there are top books, top spoken languages. Let's preview this one. Lots of great books in here. You got the author, the publisher, Game of Thrones, Hard to Beat, lots of cool stuff. The one I'm going to use is the very first list here. And in order for this to work, you're going to have to import the list. Let me delete mine. So, preview, you're just looking at the information. I think there are 60, 67 different cats on here. And then when you decide which one you're going to use, you need to import it for it to work with your code. All right, we have our data imported. There it is there. We have our screen designed, and now it's time to just do a little code. Uh, let me delete all this code. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure things only happen when you click this button. So that's an on event, and select your cat button. And when the cat button's clicked, we want to read all the data from that cat's table that's over here. So under data, you want to get read records. Let's see. Here it is. Okay. And it's going to spit out the ID and the name onto console log. Now you do have to change this right here. You see where it says my table? You have to change it to whichever data set that you're using. Notice mine is cats with a capital C, but there's, you know, whichever data set you've got, that's what you need to name it. So I'm going to change mine to cats right here. And that's the only part. Uh, there's one more thing you have to change, but I want to show you the error first. Okay, so when I hit run, it's going to console log. And remember, there were 67 cats. I have 67 IDs, so that part's working. The names are all undefined, and that is because, notice we have lowercase name right here. But if you go and you look at your data set that you're using, uh, notice that this column name is with a capital M. So that's why we have to come back over here and change this to a capital N. And that should take care of that problem. Now when we console log, we're actually pulling data right from that table. That's cool already, even though the app isn't doing anything. Okay, so now that we have the name, we're going to start using some of that information on the screen. So we are going to set property. And you want to do this inside the records read, but outside of the for loop. So right there. That took me a few tries to figure out. I'm going to change where it says cat name, which is my cat label. I want to change its text to I'm going to change it to a random cat name here. So before I can do that, I need to make a random number. So I need that to be right here. Again, it's inside the record read because I want to use this uh, pass through variable, but outside of the for loop. So I'm going to call this cat index. You can just call it index if you want to. And I'm going to set it to a random number between 0 and the records length minus one. If you've done any coding before, that length minus one is going to look familiar to you. That is simply to do with uh, how our lists normally start at position zero, like you see here. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's fine. So now we have a random number between zero and 61 and 67, basically zero and 66. And I'm going to set the text of this thing to records, which is what we're calling all those cat names, 
got to spell it right, records, records, square bracket, cat index, that's my random number, dot name, just like you saw up there. All right, let's see if that part works. Okay, so when I click, I'm getting a different cat name from the list over and over. Now we just need to grab the picture that matches, all right? And that's why we had that variable, so we could match it. So another set property in the same spot, and this one's going to be cat image, image, and this one's going to be kind of similar. It's going to be records, square bracket, cat index, square bracket, dot image. And the reason I'm doing dot image, if I come back over to my data table, here are all my cats. Over on the right, the actual link to the image is in this column here. All right, back to the code. And when I do that, every time I hit the button, I'm getting a random cat. And now if I don't want this console log to pop up every time, I can just take that out. There you go. I don't guess I need this for loop now either, do I? There you go. That's, that's our intro to data sets. Can't wait to see what people come up with.